Good day viewers. Today we are going to see how to create a 3D model as shown in the diagram in front of you. So you can see this model have so many complications. So this models can be drawn using only drafting aids. So today we are going to see uh, we are how to use the drafting aids. They are called datum features. So, so I will I will teach you how to use datum features. Right. So let us get into the Creo. Okay. So it's a you have to create a pot. You can give any name. Okay. Normally you don't work with the default templates. And then you can select millimeter newton second pot solid. So you will get the GUI for path modeling. Then you go about. So first thing what you are going to do is we are we are going to draw the base, which is 56 into 75 and 15 mm thick. So let us draw that. So obviously we select the top lane and then we'll get into the extrude. Okay. So before drawing the rectangle, you can create center lines. Two center lines. Then go about creating a rectangle. Okay. Then your rectangle will be symmetric about both the lines. Then you just change the dimension. As I told you, 56 and what? Okay, then you can see it's a 15 thick. Yes, it is drawn. Now the base is drawn. Then we go about uh, the other dimensions. Okay. So for that, now we have to concentrate on the cylindrical part, which is dia 36 and 25. Okay. So it is at a distance 100 from the, uh, from one of the leading edge. So let us, dr for this, we have to, ne ne we have to use datum features. So I need a datum plane. Okay, now I will demonstrate how to create the datum plane. You have to create a datum plane here at the bottom. Okay, select the surface and create a datum plane. Okay, so for that you have to give through option. So that is done, a datum plane has been created. Then you select that datum plane. Okay, and then you go to this option, offset, look at the distance here. So it should be at a distance 63 from the bottom. So give dimension minus 63. Then you can see the plane has been created. The default orientation, you can see the plane. So in that plane now, we have to draw that component where we have to draw that component. Okay. So we'll see. So we'll straight away go. Uh, we'll go to extrude command, select this. Of course, datum plane 2 has been selected. Go to extrude command. Okay. Then you have to draw a circle right here. Okay. A circle has been drawn. And then dimension, it should be what? Look at the model. It should be 100 and then it the diameter is 36 and uh, height should be 25 okay so change the dimension 100 the diameter is 36 that is enough you come out okay and uh, depth should be we have seen it in the model 25 
right? So, with the help of datum features, we have drawn this. Next, we have to create uh, the, the stiffener. Okay, so for that, we are going to use a command called rib. Okay, so straight away we'll go to rib command. There are two options. One is trajectory, and then another was another one is profile. Select profile, and then start creating your profile. So you can see it in the model. It should start here. It should go up to this point. Okay, and then it should be connected at the bottom. So here also we need some datum features for this 36 mm distance. So let me show you how to draw. So for that I am using uh, for that I am going to use okay I am going to use uh, construction lines okay so I am I am in construction mode now. Let me start here and uh, go along this horizontal. Up to what dimension? 36. Okay, so your construction line is drawn. So then you start from here. Now get out of construction mode, draw solid lines. Okay, you can, for convenience, you can change the orientation also if it is front. Okay, now it is very simple. You can go about it. Catch this point. Then you have to travel up to this point and then stop there. Then start with the construction line at the bottom and then finish it off here. Okay, and then you have to draw these lines also. Starting here, okay, finish off up to this point, okay, then you can come out of the, uh, that is sketching plane. Now you can see, uh, in the default orientation, you can see, uh, web has been, uh, sorry, a rib has been created. Uh, the thickness, you have to change the thickness, like uh, it should be 12 mm thick. So, change the thickness alone. Okay, so you got the rib. Okay, now you got the rib. You can see. So, that is how you have to go about it. Then, Look at the model. What are all the other things left out? Okay, so you have to create a hole here, a through hole. Then you have to create the cut portion. So let us start with the cut portion here. Yeah, it should be of dimension 12 from this side and 12 from that side. That is 24. And then height should be of 5. So, 56 minus 24, you can give directly and then uh, it will take. So, it it, it may do, your uh, Creo editor will will be doing some simple operations. It, it, can, it is capable of doing some simple operations. So, you need not have to memorize all those things. So, let us go about it. Okay. So, you have to create uh, the cut portion here. So, let us go about it. Select this particular plane and give extrude. And then for better view, okay, so you got it. Then you start drawing uh, first your center line. Obviously, a vertical center line should be drawn. We have drawn that. Then go about creating a rectangle, okay, up to this point. And then see to that. The rectangle is symmetric. Then, if you then the dimension, as I told you, it is fifty-six minus 
24. You can give directly, it will calculate and take it. And then its height should be 5. Okay, so after this, come out of it and then go to default orientation. Okay, so the direction should be you have to reverse the direction and then it should be through all and then you have to remove material as you can see you have to use this okay you have to use this okay so now you can see the cut portion okay like uh, as if you have used a milling cutter to remove material so that is the important characteristics of creo okay so feature based as if you are machining the component you have to create it in such a way now all we have to do if you look if you look at the default orientation all we have to do we have to create two holes okay and then a hole at the top cylinder we'll do that first we'll go about the top cylinder tire 22 okay so we are talking about uh, how to create the hole we can hit it with a another option so let me go to hole command you have to select the surface then in the placement option in the placement option you have to press the control button before getting pressing the control button that is going for multiple selection you have to select the option coaxial now press the control button and select the axis that's all that's enough all you have to go change the shape which is through all okay then the hole is drawn for you so this is how you have to Make use of appropriate commands for creating what you want using Creo. Creo will help you in that. Next, one more hole you have to create. For that, you can use hole linear option. So, I, I'm just wondering what is the distance. Okay, one is 28, another one is, you can see what should be the distance. Uh, diameter should be 12 and uh, the distance should be yes 45 that is 22.5 from one from the plane center plane okay we can draw it so 28 and 22.5 okay so go to hole command select this surface okay you have two handles place it appropriately one handle we are going to keep it here the other handle we are going to keep it uh, in the here right now go to the placement option okay from the right that distance should be zero once you look at the shape you will agree with me and then from the front plane it should be 22 point 22 point 5 right then go about the shape you can uh, also check one more time it is 12 and it is a through hole that's all so change the diameter as 12 and then convert it into a through hole that's all you have that hole then you have the hole selected go to mirror option just select the plane front plane and you have the other hole okay so from this model you have learned something you have learned that from the previous exercise 
where I have taught you so many commands. Okay, so now we have learned the datum features. Only with the help of datum features, you can draw the model exactly what you want. Okay, so I strongly recommend you people to make use of datum features for creating components. Thank you. We will meet you in the next video where I will help you in creating another model. Thank you.